leasing a new car. You don't have to put money down when you're leasing a brand new car. The reason people put money down because they're trying to be at a certain car payment. A payment in their budget. Let me just say this on the flip side. If the bank tells you, the lender tells you that you need to come up with a thousand or two thousand dollars to put down on your lease, it's because of your credit. If you want to get in this certain car and your credit is not a 600 or 620, then Financial is not going to put you in a lease. They're not. They're all about credit score. Yes, I said GM Financial, which is where I work. I work for a Chevy store. Because it seems like sometimes when I talk about other states or other companies, people kind of comment and put their comments in the bottom. But I understand, right? If you look at Lisa Card, you don't have to put money down. That's the lender requires you to put money down because of your credit. But know this, if you have great credit and you put $2,000 down, $3,000 down on a car, on a lease, at the end of your lease, when you get ready to lease another car, if you choose to, you are not going to get that $2,000 or that $3,000 back into your pocket. It's not going to go back into your pocket. But know this, people lease cars because they want to get that, they want to have that new car every two or three years. They want to be able to drive a new car. They just want to switch out. And I think I said the same thing three times, right? Different ways. And then sometimes people go in to buy a car and they're told they can only lease. So I guess what I'm telling you is that your money is not going to carry on over to the next lease. But at the end of your lease, if you want to buy that particular vehicle, you can buy it because it's a set price on your contract. At the beginning, when you sign the lease, what you can buy that car for at the end of your lease. But remember, you have to get financed for the lease. You can't just say, okay, I want to buy my lease out. Well, you have to get approved. You can't just think because you're leasing that car and you're driving it right now that you're automatically going to qualify to buy that lease out. You still have to get approved. And if you watch this video, do me a favor. Go on over to my YouTube channel, Regina the Queen of Car Loans and Credit, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, know this. I do sell cars and you live in another state. You need advice on purchasing a car. You can also consult with me. You can talk to me. Then also, if you're looking to get your credit repaired, you can talk to me. Or if you're looking to get your business credit started, you can DM me. It doesn't matter which social media platform you're on. All right. 